Hey guys, how's it going? So a lot of you are still struggling. I would say 80% of you are fixing your Streamlabs black screen of death right away. Uh, for some of you, um, the biggest question I'm getting asked and it's getting quite repetitive is where is OBS 64? Everybody is saying they have OBS but not OBS 64 or they have OBS and it's not the .exe. So I'm going to show you how to find it. Um, first, before you go and add it to your NVIDIA, I just try to find it on your computer first. So if you see my screen here, I'm going to come to my files. Um, your guys should be installed roughly the same area, wherever, whatever drive you've saved it to. I saved mine to my C drive. Um, you'll have program files. I've got x86 and program files. Streamlabs is in program files. So double click that. Also, before we click on files, I'm going to right click, go to properties. See this hidden here? Make sure that's not clicked, okay? Because if that's clicked, you're going to have files that are hidden. And this could be one of them. So make sure that's unclicked. Okay, so now that's taken care of. You're going to scroll down here to Streamlabs OBS. People click on this. So you got Streamlabs OBS.exe, and everybody's like, that's the one, yay! No, wrong. Okay, <clears throat> you want OBS64.exe. Especially if you have a 64 bit operating system, which probably most people have nowadays. So you're going to come up to here to Resources. Okay, double click on Resources. And now you're going to go into App SR Unpacked. Double click on that. Node Modules. Double click on that. Okay, OBS Studio Node. Okay, once this opens up. You're going to come all the way down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. What do I have down here? What is this right here? OBS64.exe. This is the one everybody says they're missing. So this is the one you have to add to your NVIDIA settings. Um, so if you're coming to this video for the first video for fixing Streamlabs, please go back um, and watch my first video. I'll put a link to it in the description down here somewhere. Um, if you're coming here from my original video and you've done all of those fixes, there's probably 16 to 20 fixes in my one of my first original videos, then perfect. Um, hopefully you've done all the steps and you didn't skip them. Um, and if it's still not working, then that's why you're here. So definitely check this out. Now I'll reiterate how to add that to your NVIDIA. Come here, click on your NVIDIA settings. This will open up. It's under Manage 3D Settings. You got Global Program Settings. Here is where you're going to add. See the Streamlabs OBS. This is what people are adding. This is not right. You want to add OBS64.exe. Okay. So to find that again, you're going to go Browse. <clears throat> bring it up. You can see at the top, right? This will bring you up to Windows System 32. You don't want that. Go to your main drive wherever you installed Streamlabs. If you can't find it, do a delete it, do a fresh install. Um, then you know where it is. So mine's on my C drive. Program files. Double click. Scroll down to Streamlabs. OBS. Okay, not this one. Go to resources. Go to Apisar. Node modules. OBS Studio node. OBS64.exe. And I would highlight that and open it. And that's how you add OBS 64 to um, your programs. Okay. The second big fix in this video, if that doesn't fix it, is in Streamlabs itself. A lot of people are getting confused with how to turn off their GPU rendering for Streamlabs. Okay. So because I'm using Streamlabs and I have it up on my other monitor over here on my wall, let me just grab that, grab that and drag that over. Okay, so to find this, you're going to come down to your settings here, and when this pops up, so you get general, stream, output, audio, video, hotkeys, advanced. Click on video. Oh, sorry, uh, advanced. Okay, under advanced, you can see process priority, color format, partial, right here, force GPU as render device. Unclick this, okay. What this is, it, it's forcing your graphics card to process this video, um, and you don't want that. 
your graphics card is going to be processing the game that you're playing, that you're streaming. Um, and, and that's what you want it to do. You don't want it doing both. That's why a lot of people, especially if you don't have a fast computer, are getting black screens. Keep them separate. The integrated um, processing unit of just your motherboard chip will work. Okay. Um, same as that's why integrated graphics works from NVIDIA. This is just another one to force it to use the integrated graphics and not your graphics card. Okay. So uncheck that. Um, so that should be the two main fixes. So people, if you went through the first video and it didn't work for you, I'm hoping you're finding this video because these are some of the main fixes that I can refer people to. All right, guys, hopefully this helps. If you found any of my videos helpful, please put a like or subscribe. I don't know where it is. Ring the bell, whatever you got to do. That's uh, how you can help me out because the more subscribers, more likes that I get, um, the more the channel grows and the more it helps people. All right, have a good one, guys. Hopefully you get your stream labs working. If this doesn't fix for you, send me a message and I'll help you personally. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.